What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today I wanted to do another iOS 10 video as I missed the release of iOS 10 Beta 7 this past weekend. And I wanted to get you guys hyped up because in just about two weeks time, the final public release of iOS 10 will be available to everybody. Get hyped everybody. I am super excited for this release. Now as you guys can see, I have my iPhone 6 here with iOS 10 Beta 7 installed. I've also got a bunch of hacked apps as you guys saw in my previous videos. And I've got to say most of the bugs and most of the issues we we were having with the early betas all the way up through beta 6 have been ironed out in beta 7 and I really can't find almost anything that really seems off. This beta seems absolutely great and I think we're getting very 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 close to the final release of iOS 10. Now the rumors have been saying that the iPhone event is supposed to happen on September 6th with a pre-order release of September 9th and a full release on September 16th. Historically the version of iOS final version whatever the version was for this specific year has been released right after the iPhone event, day of the iPhone event. So I'm very, very confident it will be released at the earliest on September 6th after the iPhone event. If it's not released right after the iPhone event, I can expect it probably the same week at the very minimum that the iPhone event happened. So for now, I'm gonna pinpoint September 6th, exactly two weeks from today, as the release of iOS 10. So get pumped up, guys. Historically, Apple has released the iPhone for public release on the third or fourth Friday. So it's going to be released released in terms of iOS 10 on September 6th or September 13th or September 20th. So a couple more weeks guys and we will have the final version of iOS 10. Get pumped up. Now, if you guys have been following my beta reviews of iOS 10 throughout the summer, you know some of my favorite features of iOS 10 are the ability to close an application halfway through opening it just like that, completely new. A lot of the messages, I love the messaging features. As you guys can see, they have digital touch and app store integration right here inside of the messages app. So really, really cool stuff in terms of the messages app. Photos is getting face recognition. It's gonna be a lot more full featured. And overall, it just feels snappier. There's a lot more features I didn't even mention, and I'm really pumped up for the release. If you guys wanna see a full review of iOS 10, go ahead and check out any of my iOS 10 reviews down there in the description. I'll put my full review of beta one up here in an annotation as that was the main review I did of iOS 10 beta earlier this summer. And I will be doing a full review of iOS 10 when it is released to the public, but I don't really expect too many of the features to change from the beta review. Anyways, get excited guys. Let me know how you feel about iOS 10 down there in the comments. I really love to hear what you guys have to say about both my videos and the Apple software and hardware I do reviews on. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and my website, and subscribe for more updates here on YouTube. And be sure to rate this video a thumbs up. I've also got links for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps down there, 100% free, so check those out. And as always guys, stay awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.